hello and welcome everybody it's KB here so in this video we're gonna try out the Google's new operating system called Fuchsia OS it is a yet another operating system by Google just like Android and Chromium OS it is based on custom Linux kernel called Zekron and according to many sources online it is a super lightweight and fast kernel which makes the operating system lightweight and really fast. Fuchsia OS isn't fully developed yet but we have a one operating system called Talia OS which is based on Fuchsia OS. So this is the power of open source. As of now, this is the best way to try out the Fuchsia OS. Actually, as of now, Fuchsia OS is available for Google's Nest Hub devices, but this operating system isn't just made for smart home devices. This operating system can actually run on almost any type of device laptop, a huge PC, phone. So basically Google is trying to make a universal operating system. And according to some sources online, it looks like Fuchsia OS can also run or will also run Android and Linux application, which will be a huge, huge deal. Fuchsia OS will be a super lightweight and fast operating system which will also run android and linux applications but sadly this might take a few more years to develop because google wasn't planning to add the linux and android app support so now they are it looks like actually google's plan was to replace the android with fuchsia OS but uh, it looks like they are just trying to make a universal operating system which would work on any type of device. So I just can't wait for this to try out. Now let's just try the Fuchsia OS. Actually, this is a Dahlia OS. And as I said, this is the best option we have if we want to try the Fuchsia OS right now. Actually, you can also set up a official Fuchsia OS emulator, but that would take a lot of time and a lot of space on your computer. So yeah, so thanks to Dahlia OS team, we can try out the Fuchsia OS. Yeah, so Dahlia OS isn't exactly like a Fuchsia OS, official Fuchsia OS. This is actually way more polished and they have their own things all right so we can see we have this control panel it looks like a chrome os control panel which is a good thing i really like this so what do you expect from google they try to make everything look very good and i think the control panel of the chrome os is really good so it also suits with the fuchsia os so we have the toggles and others controls we have a start menu and this start menu is actually flexible this is a full screen start menu we can actually make it look like a windows style start menu it looks really really good or if you prefer full screen i mean you can go full screen okay you can also change the icon of the start menu i believe this is from the dahlia os Okay, this isn't the feature from uh, Fuchsia OS, but it looks cool. As I said, this is an operating system based on Fuchsia OS. So in the future, we might see lots of operating system based on Fuchsia OS. It's really good uh, since it is like super lightweight and fast operating system, according to uh, online sources. And I can feel it actually. So this is a ISO file that I'm running live on my virtual machine and feels really smooth, fast. OK, so let's just go to the settings from the control center. Actually, look at the settings. It looks exactly like Android. There is nothing wrong with that. So as I said, Google was planning to replace the Android with Fuchsia OS. Um, maybe that will still happen but at the same time it looks like they are just trying to make a universal operating system for any device so we have a network and internet settings you can see uh, just like android we have this and the customization uh, we're gonna go with the light just look at it and you can also change the uh, the color accent just like in android yeah this is totally made by Google <laughs> because uh, if you use Android you know how it is you'll see lots of familiar things we can also change uh, the taskbar alignment just like in Windows I mean uh, getting inspired is really good <laughs> 
I prefer center actually. Some people prefer uh, the left side, but I just prefer the center. Really good. And we have a display settings. Yeah, some of the things are just missing from this because this is a really, really early build, super alpha build. <laughs> there are things that doesn't work. Most of the things doesn't work actually. This is for demo purpose only. Uh, to see how the Fuchsia OS will look or to see how the Dahlia OS will look in future uh, based on Fuchsia OS. We have some apps like Calculator, really good. And some demo app like Web App Manager, you can install web applications. I think right now you can't, but uh, this is a demo if you want to install web applications. So yeah, uh, Fuchsia OS supports web applications actually almost every operating system supports the web applications file manager just like android <laughs> there is no difference i'm pretty sure that it will get polished in in future when the uh, fuchsia os is ready actually discord uh, i downloaded it yay <laughs> uh, there, there was some bug that it didn't show that uh, we installed it we still have the install option but it looks like we installed a discord we also have a web browser we can surf the internet DuckDuckGo search engine by default uh, I, I, I am a Google guy so I prefer Google so you can choose whatever you want so we have the terminal uh, looks like Android plus uh, Linux terminal. Well, hello there. So there is the Android subsystem that is running. Hello. So yeah, it looks like, yeah, you can run Android applications. It's a demo. I mean, uh, you can't right now, but uh, there is an Android subsystem in this. So which means, yeah, you'll be able to run Android applications, which will be a huge bonus for this operating system. Because let's say even if it comes with Linux app support, there are not many applications that you can use on Linux. All right. So having a Android app support, I mean, a lot of people will use it because there are tons of, I mean, millions of billions of applications available for Android which will make this operating system usable or at least people will choose to use this. So yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. This was just a little tour of uh, Dahlia OS, AKA or based on Fuchsia OS, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I suggest you guys to do some research online by yourself. Do the Google search. What is uh, Fuchsia OS and uh, read the news articles about the Fuchsia OS, you'll get a lot more information than you got from this video. All right. <laughs> there are so many interesting things that you can learn about the Fuchsia OS. I'm also excited to try this out. So yeah, I'm one of those people who just love trying out some new crazy operating system. I'm also one of the very few people who installed Windows 11 unstable build on their main PC. Yeah, I was one of those people. So yeah, I'm back. this OS is also making me very excited. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you want to try this out right now, you can download a ISO file of uh, Dahlia OS and just put it on virtual machine. If you don't want to download it, actually, you can run a live demo at the Dahlia OS website. Yeah, when you find this demo option, just click on try it out, click on that, which will open a Talia OS on the web. You don't have to download it. You just wait a few seconds and it will load the Talia OS on your browser. Well, it looks like the Talia OS uh, demo website is uh, down right now for me, maybe, but uh, it works, all right? Maybe right now it's down yeah that's it hope you enjoyed it and uh, if you have any questions or any suggestions please do the comment i will be very happy to reply you i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye